Now that we have covered Autogen, IBM B, Langgraph, let's jump into Crew AI. Crew AI is a platform designed for building, managing, and deploying multi agent AI systems. It enables multiple autonomous AI agents to work together seamlessly, performing complex tasks collaboratively. These agents can assume specific roles, share goals, and interact efficiently, much like a well coordinated crew. Some of the key features include role based agents. Each agent in Crew AI can be assigned a specific role and goal. For example, one agent could act as a researcher while another serves as a writer. These roles can work together to complete complex workflows such as generating content or analyzing data. Processes Crew AI supports different process types. Sequential process Tasks are performed in a predefined order where the output of one task can serve as the input for the next. We then have hierarchical process where agents operate under a manager agent which coordinates the task, reviews results, and allocates resources. And then we have consensual process where agents collaborate to make decisions and agree on task execution, introducing a democratic decision making process. We have tool integration. Crew AI supports integrating various tools to help agents complete tasks. These can range from web searches to specialized data tools, and the platform supports connecting agents to different LLMs like OpenAI, Mistral, or local models via APIs. Memory systems Crew AI includes sophisticated memory options such as short term, long term, and contextual memory, enabling agents to remember past interactions and learn from them over time. And then we have real world applications. The platform is used in diverse fields including strategic planning, healthcare, marketing, finance and supply chain management. It helps automate tasks such as content creation, customer sentiment analysis and predictive marketing. Let's look at some of the example usage of Crew AI. An agent crew could consist of a research agent tasked with gathering information on the latest AI trends and a writer agent that composes a blog post based on the research. These agents work together in a sequential process where the output from the researcher becomes the input for the writer. Crew AI's flexible design allows it to be deployed on-premise in the cloud or integrated with various apps, offering teams the ability to automate workflows without needing deep programming expertise. Now let's look at step by step for using Crew AI for building multiple agent workflows. The steps that will follow is first we'll install Crew AI, then we'll set up the environment, then we'll define the agents, then we'll create some tasks, and then we'll define the crew and processes, then we'll run the crew. Let's jump into it and see how we can implement these steps. Step one, install Crew AI. Let's start by installing Crew AI on our system. Uh, you can do this using Python's package manager. Uh, you, can, you may also want to install optional tools that expand agents abilities. I am going to open terminal, increase the side. I'll go to desktop, clear this out. I'm going to create a envi virtual environment call it uh, crew and I'll, I'll activate this crew so by saying source crew slash bin slash activate clear this out Let's make it a little bit more bigger and here I'll say pip install crew AI straightforward it's going to download and install in my environment it's going to take a little bit time to install this. So once it's done, we will be going and uh, installing some extra tools by saying install crew AI tools. So 
So that takes care of installing Crew AI, which is our step number one. Next step is to set up the environment. So now set up any necessary API keys for the models and tools you plan to use. Crew AI supports models like OpenAI, GPT-3, GPT-4, and many others. You can use environment variables to configure these keys. We have already added uh, the OpenAI API keys in the previous library that we saw. Uh, but if you want to do that, again, you can just say export open AI underscore API underscore key. And then here, add your open AI key, whatever it is. So that will make sure that you have your open AI key installed. Next thing that I want to do, I already have done that, so I'm not going to do this again. I'm going to make sure that it's clear. And next step is to define agents. Now, agents are the core of Crew AI. Define each agent role and goal in the workflow. You can also specify the tools they will use, their ability to delegate tasks, and their verbosity. So I'm going to start with a Python file. I'm going to open uh, Sublime Text and save this file on my desktop, call it uh, crewtest.py and here I am going to from crew AI library, I am going to import agent, I am going to import task, I am going to import the crew and I am going to import the process. So and from the crew AI tools that I have, I will uh, import uh, SERP Serper Dev Tool. Make sure that's there. And now I am going to define a researcher agent. So the way I do it is, as I mentioned, there's one researcher agent. So that is, this is how you probably do it. I'll give it a, accordingly a proper role. I'll say role equal to say senior research analyst that's his role we can also give as i mentioned role and goal and the goal for this is research cutting edge ai advancements that's what it does and uh, backstory let's give it a backstory back story for this agent is you work at a tech think tank analyzing AI trends that's what this agent does next uh, let's give it it's, let's say if it's verbose true or false so I'm going to say Verbose is true, so as verbose as possible. Tools that I want to use in this case is I want to use a Serper Dev Tool. Let's pass it as a parameter. Next thing I want to do is the define the writer agent. So writer is something similar. I mean, agent is an agent, uh, just that this is a writer agent, agent, and this guy role is content strategist and his goal is to create engaging content from research that researcher has done as I mentioned earlier you are a you are a skilled writer a trans forming research into engaging articles that's what this guy does this writer does verbose is true i'm not going to use any tools here so that kind of uh, defines our agents next thing is creating task as we see here uh, fourth is creating tasks now for creating here uh, we define the tasks that the agents will perform. Tasks can include attributes like descriptions, expected output, and responsible uh, agent. So, if I want to create a task, let's let me just 
put some space here. So task one is a task. So this is a create. We are creating a research task. In this case, we will give something. So the parameters are description. Uh, we'll give expected output, and we will say which agent will work on this. For this one, the agent is the researcher. So I'm going to pass this as the agent here. Now let's start with description. Description equal to move this down. I am going to say analyze AI advancements in 2024 and provide a detailed report. So this is his task that we are providing. Now, what is the expected output from this particular task uh, is a research a report in let's say bullet points. So it's properly bulleted based on the description that it said. I guess this is what we are expecting back. Now let's create a writing task for the writer. Let me just move a little bit up. I'll say task two equal to again task, and it we need three items. These three items. I'm gonna pass that here, and in this description, it's mostly for the writer to write an article, and then our agent here will be of course the writer expect the description is let's ask it to write a blog post based on the research report and the expected output that we have is full blog post uh, and we can also say at least four paragraphs so we're expecting more, but we're saying this, at least do some. So this is how you can uh, define or create your task. Now, the next thing is defining the crew and the process. Now, you can uh, you can now assemble your agents into a crew. The process defines how tasks are executed, either sequentially or hierarchically. Now, sequential tasks are completed one after the other in the order they are listed, whereas the hierarchical is a, where is a task is a where a manager agent oversees task execution, delegating task, and uh, reviewing the results. So let's define the crew. I am going to move everything up and say crew equal to crew. In this particular case, we will say which are the agents in this particular crew. We have only two agents, so we are going to pass those guys as the crew agents. Next is tasks, tasks that are required. So we've created only two tasks. I'm going to pass them here, task one and task two. So that's our task. Now what is the process we follow? We'll say process dot sequential, which means one after another, because a writer will actually write something after the researcher provides the report. And then verbose equal to true as detailed as possible so there you go that's kind of completes our step five where we define the crew and the process now finally run the crew once your agents and tasks are defined kick off the crew to start working on the task you can observe the output and adjust the process flow as needed so here i am going to say result equal to crew dot kickoff and then output of the final results we can print it out by saying final output is say print result there you go this should print our final results so if i want to run this now i can go open my terminal and here i can say python crew test dot py that's my file that i've created here and once I run it, what it will do is it will run those tasks as senior analyst uh, and senior yeah, senior research assistant thought 
search input it's it's kind of calling my open ai api and calling this and creating uh, getting the research and also writing the blog if you see the blog has been written and as you can see it automatically did all these things based on the based on the steps that we have followed where we defined agents created task and you see the output it here based on and it then what it used was it used the open ai api and called all these methods out there so that kind of concludes our crew ai if you have any uh, questions on this let me know if you had any issues following along let me know in the comments and i'll get back to you and let's move to the final one